Hello and welcome to the Sideline YouTube channel. My name is Ray and in this video, part 17 of the My Robot Lab server series, uh, I'm going to look at the Raspberry Pi service. So what I have here is a VNC connection into my Raspberry Pi and I've navigated into the directory where I've already installed My Robot Lab. So it sets up and installs very similar to what it does on Windows. You copy or extract the three files into a folder and you run the myrobotlab.sh file. It will do its install and let you run it. Future run time or running of it will just launch the program. I've already made a config change so it will not launch the web browser on the Raspberry Pi. Being a, a Raspberry Pi 3 that I'm launching this one on, it's going to be a little bit short on resources. So I'm going to start this up and I'll time lapse this one so it's faster for you. Okay, so let's just uh, restart all of this. So what we have is my robot lab now running on the Raspberry Pi. I am using the web browser from my Windows PC to connect into it. We can actually go to the Python service, create a new uh, Python script. So I'm just going to call this demo.py. And in here, I'm going to print uh, runtime get that on execute that and it tells us it's running on an ARM processor with Linux so this is our Raspberry Pi if I do this on a Windows based machine You can see here, it actually shows that we're running on a x86-64 Windows machine. Alright, so let's move on to runtime and we'll go Raspberry Pi. The service I'm looking for is the Raspberry Pi service and we will start that. If we go to the Raspberry Pi service, it'll show us a list of all of the GPIO pins that we have. These are now working for the most part, uh, but we'll probably end up removing GPIO 0, 1, 2, and 3, because these two are reserved pins that are also used by the camera, the onboard connector down here. So if you connect the camera, they will become an issue. And these two are used by the I2C service over here. So we're going to be using those. We don't want to be playing with those either. I have actually tested most of these and they are actually working quite well. We can actually uh, connect wires and watch these. So at the moment, you can see all of these are selected as right. So if I select GPIO 17, which I happen to know is, actually, let's just look it up. This first pin after the ground connection on the end here. So if I grab a, a wire, connect that to a 3.3 volt connection, which is four pins up. If I then put this to a pin down here, 
helps if I actually display it. You can see that GPIO 17 is changing from 0 to 1. We can actually go to Oscope, select, we have it on, and you can see it changing up and down as I short the pin. Now that display is back to front. Uh, what it's actually doing is going from low to high, but this is showing high to low. But at least it's still working and we can read that through the Python scripts as well. More importantly for us, go back to pins. Up here on bus 1, it is showing 70 and 40 has been found. So I2C address 40 is this uh, PCA9685 servo driver board. When you've got multiples of these connected, you address them with the pins down here, but they will also all share the 70 address on the I2C bus. It is a broadcast broadcast address, so you can turn them all on or off at the same time. So we'll demonstrate that working. So I'm going to call this PCA. It's the Adafruit 16C servo driver. Start that. Connect that to the Raspberry Pi and attach. It is on bus one. It is on address 40. If you've seen the video on the Adafruit 16C servo driver service, you'll actually note that I would have changed that to zero when I had it connected to a Arduino Nano. Now we can go to runtime, turn the power on for my servos, call this servo, start the service, go to servo, we'll select our controller as PCA, pin zero because I've connected it into the first port, attach, and you can see the survey now moves when I select a position for the slider. Okay, that'll do for this video. If you like these videos, don't be, forget to click on like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. It's a form of support that helps the channel a great deal and costs you absolutely nothing. If you'd like to support the channel further, I do have a Patreon account and you can join my VIP Patrons, Go Lucky and Lorenz Berger, and my Builder Patrons, Elmer Morales 45 and White Wolf in supporting the channel. If you have any questions, there are links to both the YouTube channel's Discord server and my Robot Labs Discord server. Feel free to come in and ask any questions or just join the community. And we'll see you in the next video.